Hi, today we are going to see about the DML trigger instead of uh, delete instead of update trigger. For that, I am, I am creating a view in my view PW employee details like I am, I am joining two tables and, and selecting the data. Uh, employee ID, employee name, employee salary, and department name from the tables, employee details tables, and the department table. I am joining these two tables and retrieving the data. See if I select this data see this is the data so first i am going to create that view if i select the data from that view see what we have got for this if i try to update this statement update employee id where employee id equal to 4 then the data will be updated see if you see employee id equal to 4 now it will be employee name equal to 4 then again if i try to like update the same row with the department name id then what we'll get we'll get an error indicating that not updatable because the modification affects two base tables that is to so it is uh, like an employee name department name we got it from a two tables so like a joining department table and employee details for that in like this situations we are going to create a instead of update a trigger for that i am going to create a trigger by tr underscore view employee details for instead of update then and uh, then as then if we first if we try to update employee id we, can, we are going to raise an error like id cannot be changed and then if we if we try to change the department name then we have to uh, like a, then i am going to do what i am going to do is declaring a variable of the at the rate department id of variable of data type integer then i am going to select that the and department id where i am getting that it is getting from the inserted from the joining inserted table department name and the department department name though no com uh, combining uh, i am combining all these two tables and retrieving that particular department id and if that particular id is null then i am going to again and again i am going to uh, raise an error ID cannot be changed then it is not and not a null it's actually a value then I'm going to update the uh, original like employee details table there I'm going to set department ID uh, I'm retrieving that at the rate department ID from inserted table and there I'm going to see here this is what the execute uh, update statement what it's going to like it is going to from inserted table employee details inserted and then it's going to save in this department id then it's going to set that one means the that i'm going to get that one from inserted table employee id and then in, for that employee id i'm going to set this particular department id which i have retrieved from this uh, joining department uh, department name uh, from department table and insert in this department i am going to set that value to department id from from joining this employee id employee details and inserted employee id okay and then this and and this employee name and employee salary which is affecting only a single table so it's directly updating means employee details it is um, updating employee details tables and where i'm going to set employee name equal to whatever we have inserted from employee name from the table and then see from these two whatever employee ID details table and inserted table employee ID equal to same then then that from that inserted I'm going to set that employee name for this employee details and the same thing for employee salary the same thing which we have done this See now I am going to create this trigger. See the trigger has been created. And then here if I draw if I try to update this. Now the, the update statement has been successfully executed. Means for that update statement, the update trigger has been executed. See the department ID has been changed to IT. Department name has been changed to IT. This is for this is what we have seen like a DML trigger for an update statement instead of update statement. Uh, if you want to see that uh, trigger, if you go to particular database and this view and refresh it.
see we can see this table details employee details there if i see a trigger here you can see this update see instead of update trigger this is what we have seen for today thank you thank you for